Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. First of all, subscribe now if you haven't already. If you would not want to miss any of my new tutorials, hit that notification bell icon. In my previous tutorial, I taught you how to create paragraph styles, how to apply them to many parts of the document, and how to change their attributes and appearance with few clicks. Then, you will need to change these attributes and typefaces individually throughout the document. I have included the link of the first and second part of this tutorial in the description. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create headings paragraph styles from the scratch. With that being said, let's get into it. Headings paragraph styles No matter how you use in design, headings are essential part of paragraph styles because they can be mapped to levels such as Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3, Heading 4, etc. You can also write H1, H2, H3, and H4, as well as subheading. It's up to you. The purpose of this heading is to add the readers the user experience friendly interface to scan and navigate the content. We want to make sure that the reader sees and takes in certain words. Heading 1 should be emphasized in bold and bigger fonts so that they stand out different from rest of the content. However, keep in mind that using bold style for the headings isn't a requirement. You can use other styles too as long as heading looks prominent. Headings come in hierarchy levels. I am going to use three levels. By the way, you must use maximum of three levels or preferably two heading levels. Now, if you want to practice along with me, then download the InDesign file that I have provided in the description. Pause this video and download it. After you open the InDesign file, you can see the unformatted text lying on a single page. The aim is to format the text logically using the headings. Let's start with creating new heading paragraph style. Let's open the paragraph styles panel. Shortcut key is F11. By default, InDesign creates basic paragraph styles for us. I told you in the previous tutorial that basic paragraph styles removes all kind of styling from the selected text. To create a new style, click on the top of this panel, those three bars that looks like hamburger, and choose new paragraph styles. A styling window will show up. Here you can make your styles. On the left, you can see list of options from general to export tagging. I have explained few of them in part 2. Let's rename it as heading 1, which is basically level 1 of the heading. In basic character formats, let's choose the font family Cardo and bold style. Size 72 points. Leading 86 points. Then go to character color, choose black font. Or you can give it any other color. Can 70, magenta 0, yellow 100, and black 0, which is CMYK. 70, 0, 100, 0. Click OK. Now that you have heading 1 style available, you need to apply this style to the text. Let's make this first text as heading 1 paragraph style. Click on this text, go to paragraph styles panel and apply heading 1 style. See, 
the text appearance had changed to fit the visual styling of Heading 1. Now, let's say you apply Heading 1 style on this huge paragraph. Then all this paragraph will follow the style until this line break. To avoid that, break the lines by pressing enter. And then apply Heading 1 style to it. Problem solved. Let's revise Heading 1. This is the InDesign document that I had created in my first InDesign tutorial. The link is in the description. To change the appearance of Heading 1, open the Styling options. Let's choose Font Family as Veneer Clean. Only one font style, regular. So be it. Size, 30 points. Leading, 48 points. Now, the color of this heading is set to red. I want some bright orange color. The thing is, we can't create color on this panel. Let's close this window. In this control toolbar, open the fill. You will get the list of colors. To create a new color, click on the icon below. Unfortunately, for some reason, it is grayed out. There's another way of adding a new color on the swatches. I'm going to copy the color code from my previous projects. Double click on the fill or stroke in the left toolbar and paste the color code over here. Then click Add to Swatches panel. Click OK. Open the Heading 1 Styling option and go to Character Color. Scroll down and see the new color is now available in the list. Select that color and click OK. Now let's create Heading 2. Basically Level 2. You can create styles just like I taught you before. Also, you can click on this icon. Once the paragraph style is created, right click on it and choose Edit. Rename it as Heading 2. The Heading 2 can be the same font family as Heading 1. However, it shouldn't be as prominent as Heading 1. We want the readers to see the Heading 1 first, then Heading 2, and so on up to the body text paragraph. I want different font family, so let's go to the basic character formats. And I am choosing Futura HV BT font. Font size 36 points. Leading 30 points. In character color, set the color to dark green. Can 80. Magenta 38, yellow 78, and black 28. CMYK 80, 38, 78, and 28. Click OK. Now, see this next line. The sentence is a little big, but this is supposed to be our heading too. Click over here, go to the panel, and click on heading 2. See, the heading 2 consumes the two lines of the paragraph, which is acceptable. But check the vertical distance between these lines. They are overlapping. It looks ugly and messy. To fix this, open the heading 2 styles from this panel. Now, go to basic character formats. Then change the leading to 
42 points. Now, it looks neat and attractive. In any case, if your heading consumes three lines, then try to reduce the font size until the heading 2 fits in two lines. Now, it's time to create heading 3. So instead of creating heading 3 once again with all those attributes, I can simply duplicate the heading 2 paragraph style. Just right click on this heading 2 and choose duplicate paragraph style. Open the styling options. Let's rename it as heading 3. This is level 3 in heading hierarchy levels. We should keep the font size smaller than the heading 2. I am choosing font family as Cardo Regular. Now, I am choosing the font size to 18 points. And leading 18 points as well. I am going to change the color to pure black. Now, don't be confused with registration color and black color. Both of the colors might look same, but their color will appear differently after the printing. Choose the black color with the CMYK values set to 0. Click OK. Now, click on the third line of these paragraphs. Apply heading 3 to each of them. See? How your visual layout looks so neat after formatting. Let's change the color. I am using the same document. Open the heading 3 paragraphs panel. Go to the character colors. Originally, I had set the color to orange. To change the color, simply click on the other color. Let's say blue. Click OK. See, InDesign updated all those tags that had heading 3 styles applied to it. Isn't it so easy? Now, in this exercise, I want you guys to create next paragraph style heading 4 which lies in level 4 of the hierarchy. After that, apply those styles to the relevant text. You can connect with me through my email javadsumro1988 at gmail.com You can also write me on my Instagram Sumro Studios. If you are having any problems in your workflow, please leave it in the comment section below. I will help you out through this matter. Tip of the day. Whatever editing you do in Adobe InDesign, try not to edit the content directly through this control toolbar as much as possible. I know, control toolbar makes it easy for you to edit the content, as it can be easily found on the top of this interface, thus tempting you to use it. However, it bypasses the paragraph styles which disturbs the visual consistency of the contents. Let's change the font size of this text to italic. You see, plus sign has appeared next to the name of the heading one. It just simply means that your text still holds the applied paragraph style, but somewhere in the text, you might have manually applied some style from the control panel. So, try to avoid it, as it can hurt your visual styles for the long run, especially for the lengthy documents. In any case, if you accidentally do this mistake, do not panic at all. Just right click on the paragraph style with the plus sign. And choose clear all overrides. This will clear all inconsistency from the text. I hope you liked this third part and you gained a lot of knowledge. I will continue paragraph styles in part 4. So, stay tuned. 
Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's more amazing content coming on the way. If you don't want to miss any updates from my channel, hit that notification bell icon. Most of all, if you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share it with your friends. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching the video. Goodbye.